Hallelujah. So we talked about repositioning. God wants to reposition you. And like our text said, Psalm 23, his intention to reposition you is that you must accept him, submit to him to allow him to lead you. You must be ready to give him the go on every area of your life. And nothing can stop you if you do that. Nothing can stop you. Because God is willing to reposition you. The next one is evolution. Now, revolution from the word evolution. Now, re-evolution. Remake yourself. Redo it. Reshape it. Rearrange it. Let it happen differently. Most of the time, the revolution or the reason for your change is localized with you. Our text is going to be Genesis 27, 38 to 40. And I'd like to read it to us after we pray. Father in heaven, we thank you again. Please, Lord, my prayer is that by this simple fellowship, you will magnify and reveal yourself to us, for us, and through us. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm going to read it from the New Living Translation, Genesis 27, 38 to 40. He saw pleaded, but do you have only one blessing? Oh, my father, bless me. Bless me too. Then Esau broke down and wept. Finally, his father Isaac said to him, You will live away from the riches, richness of the earth and away from the dew of heaven above. You will live by your sword and you will serve your brother. But when you decide to break free, you will shake his yoke off your neck. And you see, that's very, very interesting. And that's about revolution. Revolution, it starts in you. Your desire for change, you're wanting a different outlook. It is start, it starts with you because you see, the thing about it is that God is ever willing for our change. That's what you must know. As long as you are giving your life to Jesus, you are living to obey Him, you are doing His way, He is ever willing to change. To ask to let you, that's why I say, if you are willing and you are obedient, you eat the good of the land. God is ever willing, and that I can confirm that with the story in First Chronicles chapter four, verse nine and ten. I think I want to read that also because there are some ingredients you should see. There was a man named Jabez who was more honorable than any of his brothers. His mother named him Jabez because his birth was a very was has been so painful he was the one not somebody else he was the one who prayed to the god of israel oh that you would bless me expand my territory please be with me in all i do and keep me from all troubles and pain and god granted him his request so he start with you he, he was the one that desired his change and God granted it. Sir, God is willing to grant your change. He wants you to revolutionize your thinking, revolutionize your situation. He wants you to become somebody else. Revolution is very important for the real change to be established. For you to say no to whatever is ruling you, you must be willing. The father of Esau saw it in his life. That he was desperate, he was willing for a blessing. Even after talking all the things he talked, he said, look, I put it in your hand. Your change, your blessing, I put it in your hand. And he got it. I pray for you. Isaiah 119, if you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. Have a great Thursday. God bless you.